Well, hello there. Um, today I am making crunchy tacos. Um, my daughter actually just went to work. She was here for lunch. Um, we had tacos. I'm making a couple more to take down to my neighbor. So, um, in California, it's pretty common for people to fry their own taco shells. Um, this happens to be avocado oil, which I had in the house and wasn't too happy with. So I just wanted to use that up. I'm trying to sort of clear out my refrigerator and my cupboard somewhat. I tend to collect, you know, half a bottle of this and half a container of that. So frying the shell. And then the ground beef filling is um, a good quality meat seasoned only with salt and pepper. There's no quote-unquote taco seasoning which would hide the flavor of the ground beef. And then the shells are heavily seasoned with Larry's seasoned salt. I always make the shells um, fresh to order. If you let if you let them sit around for ten minutes, fried up, they start to get soggy. So you want to cook them as you go, which is to say, whoever's cooking kind of has to eat last. That's just the reality of it. Um, I grew up in California, and as a kid, I used to go to a lot of my parents' you know, friends' houses, um, and they would serve tacos for lunch often. Just about everyone made them the same way I'm doing here, um, except for one of her friends. Um, it was kind of interesting. She would put the cooked ground beef in a raw tortilla and um, cook it with toothpicks to hold the meat inside the tortilla um, and then fry them and then as they came out of the fryer they went into the oven and those definitely had a different kind of a flavor. They were quite good. But I only know, only ever knew one person who made American tacos that way. So there we go. We've got two shells ready. Filling in with one hand should be interesting. Hmm. Okay, I probably can't even do that. Anyway, so there's the shells. Freshly fried up uh, corn tacos with seasoned salt. Then you would put in the ground beef and typically serve the tacos just that way and let people at the table put the toppings that they want on themselves. I'm gonna, you know, put all the toppings on this and then take it to my friend, but um, right on top of the ground beef, finely diced onion um, so that the warm meat affects the onion then um, on top of that would be lettuce, 
and then sour cream, then freshly grated cheddar cheese, and then the tacos go on top. Optionally, you can squeeze a bit of fresh lime um, as you're fixing up your taco. Um, and if I had cilantro, that would also be one of the toppings offered. I just don't happen to have any in the house. So that's it. It's that simple. Um, I think the most important thing about it is that we don't put any taco seasoning, quote unquote, on the meat. Um, and we fry the shells um, as, we're, as we're going, fried up fresh, not the ready-made Taco Bell shells. So that's it. I'm going to make um, some chili con carne for dinner tonight. So that's the next thing coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.